You may be wondering what this is. This is a project I started a long time ago. This is obviously a wooden model. It may, you may say, well, it looks a little bit like a, a loudspeaker or something like that. No, I'll tell you what it is. It's a bullet trap. And I looked it up on the internet, some of these uh, bullet traps where they use uh, inertial, uh, what do they call it, inertial spinning to get rid of the energy of the bullet. And so what was to happen was the bullet would enter here, and these are at 20 some degrees, which is the optimal to prevent a, a ricochet backwards. So it would hit here, it would slide in, you know, bounce back and forth, slide in there. On the back, there would be a pipe, and the bullet would enter the pipe and spin around, and when it lost enough energy, it would fall out the bottom. Uh, and one way it would go counterclockwise and the other way it would go clockwise, but in any case it would just run out of energy and fall out of the bottom safely, right? Well, that's the theory, but uh, even with small arms and air guns like my cousin likes to shoot, uh, it, the safest is about six millimeter plate and you can see, let me get that in there, you can see it's about twice as thick as my wooden model. And the problem is that's a nice blunt edge, and I don't know if you've ever seen a bullet splatter, but when it hits something and stops radically, it just it just shatters like a, like a drop of water hitting something at high speed. It just splatters. And so, okay, you say, well, you could, you know, bevel this edge both ways, and so if the bullet hit it head on, part of it would go this way and part of it would go that way, but you're not guaranteed that. Part of the energy is going to come back, so you're going to get splatters coming backwards. So, okay, well, that's, that's the first thing. That was a fail on it. And all of these edges are the same way, the top edge, the bottom edge. The side edge, you might be able to bevel it such that even if it hits, most of the bullet will go in here, but still, some of it's going to slice off and head on the outside. So, no matter what I did, I just I couldn't get around these issues. And the bottom line is, you'd really just have to build a, a really large trap, a huge trap that was so big that, you know, you'd have to try to miss it and then you know, then you'd have uh, reasonable safety like they have at uh, professional gun ranges. So that was it. It just uh, fails on a lot of levels and so I gave up on it. But uh, this was the original model for it. Thought you might uh, find it interesting. Okay, well that was it. 